All right, now, uh, jubilation in the camp of Tinubu, that is what we are getting right now. As he picked up the primary, uh, the ticket for APC um, in the presidential race. And I think a lot of people are just like, you know, putting out some different opinion about that. Why some are jubilating already, like MC Oluomo, I will still have some interesting stories around that. You know, the likes of Reno Omokri uh, is always speaking from time to time. Yes, Reno has actually uh, made an eye opener to a lot of persons. According to Reno, he said, now that APC fell into the trap and picked Tunubu, we are overjoyed. Tunubu is a flawed candidate, but that is not even the challenge. Who will be his vice um, in his vice? A northern Christian won't get northern votes and he can't survive a Muslim Muslim ticket. That is what it is right now. I think uh, when they were making a choice of picking the Tunumbo, they should have thought of this because this could be the end of the party. And uh, I remember that, uh, yes, a lot of people were not satisfied with uh, picking Tunubu as the choice candidate for them. Guys, I'm employing you people to vote towards the 2023 election. All you have to do is to vote and count your vote. You can vote, count the vote of the pony unit, upload and document it on the social media so that it will be documented and then transmit it to uh, the appropriate authority. And uh, this will count as um, one of the best way to checkmate um, inflation of figures and uh, you know kind of manipulation of figures at the forthcoming election uh, people were ready to vote uh, you know for a job but right now you can still pick your own substitute uh, within the uh, the politicians because uh, based on the information gathering I got to understand that uh, the person that has a close vision to that of Osibanjo is a person of Peter B and then you can make Peter B your choice that is something i would say at a point like this uh let's uh, get to understand you know uh whiskey actually came out to make some kind of uh, interesting uh, uh, opinion about uh, the nigerian election and nigerian politics according to whiskey this said i don't trust these politicians i always exempt myself when is election period I don't want to influence people's votes. That is coming in from Whiskey after he said this. And he said that this time around, he's going to get involved and then urging people to go get their PVC because we are going to like, you know, make a big change at a point like this. Already a lot of young people from the South, they are looking at Peter Obi. And uh, Tunubu getting elected or getting selected or picked by the party, uh, that is a Muslim ticket from the south and a Christian ticket from the north, it's not going to be easy. That is something I believe about uh, the whole thing. And I think uh, they've made a kind of big mistake at a point like this. Somebody came out to say it is because uh, Buhari himself does not like Osibanjo that much. I think uh, it's based on loyalty. And right now, uh, people are looking at it like politics is about loyalty. Politics is not about loyalty. Politics is about patriotism. That is the mistake a lot of people are making from time to time. Politics is not about loyalty. Politics is about patriotism. And let's listen to Whiskey on this. Every time when they do this political thing, like I always exempt myself when it's election period because I try not to influence people's votes. I don't want to, because I don't even trust this guy. I'm, right. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go and stay and say, "Yo, please come and vote for this guy to be president." When I don't know if he's gonna change anything, I wouldn't do right. that. You know, I always step aside. But now it's just it's too sad. We can't step aside anymore. We need we need answers. We need conversations. The president should speak to the people. Like speak to the people. Like just that. Sometimes away from that, let's talk about some other entertainment issues trending on social media. I think uh, this is coming in from the camp of Timaya right now. Timaya said, um, you know, this is why I may never get married. And according to Timaya, he tweeted, he said, Jesus never got married. I am Christ-like. He tweeted in a recent tweet. Remember that uh, in Nigerian uh, um, Twitter page uh, space, um, the word Jesus or the name Jesus has been trending 
with a red, um, you know, kind of a write-up on a white background. And a lot of people have been asking the question. I think uh, that was why Timaya decided to respond and said, man, he's not going to get married at a point like this. Timaya has some beautiful kids and uh, he's not married. He's having baby mamas at the end of the day. Let's look at other things uh, right now trending. And uh, a particular uh, you know, person has come out to speak about the Oslade estate that trended for some time. That is the lady in the video. She said, I have not been able to face my mom after a video of Oslade sleeping with me went viral. That is coming in from Blessings. Uh, blessing who was in that video in the live facebook uh, section with uh, popular on air personality that the freeze 21 year old uh, blessing disclosed that ever since the video of her of her intercourse with Oslid went viral she hasn't visited her family as she doesn't have the courage to face her mother and her elder brother who also saw the video on social media i think this is another challenging issue i hope she's getting uh the care she deserves because it's not easy to have your mental uh, you know kind of a sense intact after such a uh, step and why are people making a step we heard of uh, that of uh, black chuli and uh, came out with uh, different sentimental uh, you know appeal and the rest but people were not quick so like say man we will forgive you because that is the kind of content you've been making and right now it's haunting you down at the end of the day um what is your own take about this story so far i need that in the comment section apc primaries is all uh gone down and uh, some people refer it to as uh you know stepping down conversion <laughs> what is your own take what is your own choice of 2023 candidates we have peter obi we have Atiku Abubakar and we have Bola Ahmed Tunubu at the end of the day and a lot of people are getting concerned about that saying that who is Ahmed Bola going to pick as a running mate on this one because Muslim Muslim ticket is not going to work Christian ticket from the north is not an easy task for us to understand and uh, uh, is um you know a Muslim ticket from the south is not an easy task when you are selling in politics that is something we need to understand about this whole thing before I jump off finally I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platform if you are new here click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos i love you guys keep supporting free Deep. keep watching my videos